Hello, this is me drawing a Type 6, a Type 6 transporter. It's by Lacon. Lacon do the Alliance ships, they do the Asps, they do the Diamondbacks, and they do the Transporters. So this is the Type 6 transporter. The, uh, the Type 7 and the Type 9 and the Type 10, they all need large pads, even though the Type 7s yeah, shouldn't somehow. <laughs> anyway, Type 6 is good. You can get over 100 cargo in it, which is, which is as good as the ASP. And the ASP is really expensive as a starter ship. And if you, if you mess around enough, you can get almost the same jump range as an ASP. It's just made of paper. It's, it's basically like a sardine tin and can be easily peeled by enemy weaponry. And, and, and the peeling wouldn't take long. In fact, in a, in, if you go into a res and you see the Type 6 or Type 7, you think, oh... I'll pick that one off now. And it's normally not even a pirate. It's normally just some sort of somebody who's trying to mine the rock and is being attacked. I like using Tom Cook music, Toko So music, for these videos because he does such a variety of different styles of music and also because they're all about elite. And this one's about a keelback. I know, I know it's not a T6, but it looks similar. I just really like this song anyway. It's cool. I contacted the fellow who sent me this screenshot, uh, asked him about Type 6s. He likes Type 6s, it turns out. <laughs> which is good. Uh, he's written me a little bit of writing, which is fabulous, and it's so kind of him. I'm going to read it out. So, um, he currently has four Type 6s. The Sterling Farmall M, outfitted for material farming, as well as search and rescue work for hapless NPCs who will all write songs about you when they get back to a station. Uh, Sterling Fire and Rescue, which is set up to rescue 52 passengers from burning stations. Sterling Bucket, which has been a cargo ship, mining ship and a material gathering ship, but is now set up as a fighter. <laughs> is obviously hampered by the two small hard points, but is pretty manoeuvrable and can hold out well enough in high reses in high security systems. It's pretty good, cool, isn't it? I wouldn't really stretch to a keel bag. Anyway, lastly, for the time being, is Sterling Goofar, set up for exploration. It has a jump range of 53 light years with a size 5 Guardian FSD booster and fuel to make 610 light years between refuelings with a 5C fuel scoop and an extra 4C fuel tank. I think it's easier to buy a new Type 6 for each mission type rather than trying to re-outfit one ship over and over again. And since it's such a lovely ship, why wouldn't I want to own more than one? I think one of the main draws is that it's the biggest ship that I can still imagine myself flying and crewing alone. I mean, who in their right mind could pretend to fly an anaconda or even a python all by themselves? They're simply too big, too many things going on. I can imagine the Type 6 being just a big cargo hold, a couple of engines, a cockpit with a little cabin in the corner. Pure heaven it is. Isn't that fab? I love that. That's so good. What a nice expression of enjoyment in a little corner of the game. I love how the game is so varied that you can do whatever you please and everyone's enjoyment comes completely differently. I enjoyed doing this picture. I planned it to be a chalk drawing and I realised that the ship was actually taking up quite a small bit of the picture. So I, I thought I needed it to be more detailed. So that's why I started putting paint on halfway through and I think it looks better with a little bit of crisp detail on there because it is the focus of the picture and then you can just splash a bit of nebula on in chalk afterwards. I like a nebula. They're really quick. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.